Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Iken and today we're continuing our blind legendary playthrough of the game. We are still in, I would say, the very early game, supposedly. Got our first base, just open our second one and um, trying to get more resources. So the scavenger side is exactly what I wanted to do. We're going in with our main team, level three to four. I'll sort of like that leveling so far uh, it slows down a bit now but uh, the experience and so on really makes sense so i'm actually quite looking forward for it all right we landed <clears throat> let's take a good look so we got some crates over here near the exit this is what we're going to take last Crate here, here, and here. That's deeper in. Some material over here. And a crate over there. Okay. Well, four starters. Doing it. Let's start exploring. <coughs> Shattered Realm would need high ground. We can't really get up here, but we can get up here. Equally, I would like to get that guy down. Oh, and we're seeing more enemies. Okay, cool. Yes. Oh. Reporting enemy contact. Okay, well, that slightly changes the situation we first of all need to take care of these guys I can do it moves in just need the right angle shot next time receiving One, two, thanks for dash. That is super helpful. And three down, perfect. Dranks moves over. Ready to engage. Good. Solid damage right there. Ready to roll. Can't really see this guy from any other position. Definitely war crying because I don't want him to do anything stupid. And we're charging in with Grell. Plus my original plan still stands. I would like to get onto high ground. Receiving. Can get a free overwatch. Should do that, in my opinion. And we can get an overwatch here as well. Good, we activated what feels like the entire map, but one of my uh, criticisms for these smash and grab missions is well, some XCOM, they start slow and then you get overwhelmed. Here it seems to be like the exact other way around. 
You're just going in. There are a bunch of enemies trying to prevent you from doing that. And once you overwhelm them, Preparing they have just nothing left. Uh, they... There's like... Sometimes a single enemy coming back. Per, uh, once per round. Target down. And effectively, I'm not 100% sure if, uh, if uh, that still remains challenging. But, I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, maybe that is working as design. It just feels quite backwards. Fantastic. Gotcha. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Where's that new enemy? Okay, we got a few melee enemies coming in. Okay. I'm repositioning. Euler moves in as well. And kills them. Uh, I'm on the move. Ian the Butcher owns. Oh, we don't have enough action points. Well, we're going to get that next turn. Enemies are coming from behind. Oh no. Oh no. I was just about to say what a nice coincidence uh, that it did not hug our face in my sights it's interesting that it immediately triggered uh, the the return fire that was unfortunate Ranks stays in the open. Can't really do much about it. Pushing on. I'm going. How does that taste? Good that guy makes himself invisible. In the meantime, what I believe we definitely should do... <laughs> ...using their action economy, War Cry helps. Going in. One down. Shield <laughs> breaking. Disable the arm. Way. And back. Not a perfect turn. Moving to coordinates. Let's blast them. Okay, so we wanted to pick up stuff. That. A little bit more ammunition for the advanced weapons that we had would be helpful
And what we could do is we could overwatch this here. More enemies are coming in, unfortunately from our back. Good, Shattered Realm moves in. Free aim. Enemy still active. Oh yeah, but that hit was good. We just hit him really good. Preparing Steel to fire on target. Confirmed. Need to heal soon, but for now we're Advanced. fine. Oila moves around. Identifying target. And we'll get rid of uh, that. Moving on. Rel uses uh, the melee attack to finish this guy. And let's try to hit this, uh, the next one, the tree, uh, tree point strangler. Ready to fire. He's slowly but surely coming around, that strangler. But Euler is having none of it. Switching. Drank's out of ammunition. We wanted to go here at a later stage. So for now, really what I need to do is get to those other crates on the other side. Soldier who awesome. is already loaded up, which is uh, Ian, will help us secure the back. Grell stays with us as well. Let's trade the magazine for other magazines. Operative on the move. Grell moves into uh, into cover. We're using the time to heal ourselves. Focus. The realm gets his Focus. turn, uh, his turns back. We need to jump over and use him for the crates. That's pretty much end of turn. <laughs> Not a huge turn. Looking for an angle. Problem solved.
Good. Drinks. Heals himself. And then we're just uh, moving towards the actual location. Like I said, we Receiving. want to get some crates. Currently in the process of doing exactly that. Getting closer to the crates. And thanks to the jetpacks, that is even easier. I tell you what, we're going to reload. And we're just going to overwatch. Mentioned Ian is going to help us covering our covering our sights. Same ordeal. I don't want to deal with a shield, so we're just going to overwatch. a miss really let's move Ian moves a bit closer Do this. Good. Jarangs moves up. That's great. Here goes nothing. Shattered Realm takes a grenade and that and that and that and that and that. Thank you. Let's make this happen. Yeah, Euler just takes a decent position here. On Overwatch. See, and that's exactly what I meant at the beginning. Uh, I feel we're now in that position where we've cleared out the map. It's really just more Wish a matter you know. of us running to the objectives. Let's go. And not so much us withstanding wave after wave of enemy. Ready. That might be a deliberate design decision. I just personally think it's a bit of a re re uh, reverse difficulty curve. So why would you why would you not make it more difficult over time? The way it currently stands, we're just waiting here. Ooh, that could have gone better. Basically, are taking our shots, and once we have cleared out the enemy. There isn't much much stopping us. Switching ammo. I can do it. Oh. 
Yeah, that's not going to hit, but we might as well give it a try. Enemies seem to spawn always in this corner. I was born ready. Yeah, don't get too overconfident, Euler. Straight up shot to the head. Love it. Moving out. Tranks opens uh, the last the box. We take that and that and that and that and that, and we are no time to lose. Officially out of here. Right there. Are we out of ammunition? Yeah, it seems uh, that we are. Let's go. Which means Skrell is really moving down here. Good, I think we've gotten most, if not all, of uh, the resources. Shattered Realm moves up. And we are dashing towards the exit. They can't stop me! Good, I think we really have, oh yeah, we really have uh, gotten almost all of the resources here, right? Not seeing much that we could have done differently. Oh, uh, Sniper Dilly moves over. I do have an idea, a little trick. Let's give that and that and that and that and that to Dilly. Fantastic. One, two, trying to reach. Okay, we can take that next turn. I'll be right there. No rest for the weary.
hope I'm not leaving myself exposed. Operative on the move. Okay. Moving out. Now Shattered Realm is also moving out and I think we're almost done here. I don't know, the Pedorans, I don't want to sound cocky because uh, that immediately gets punished from the game, <clears throat> but the Pedorans aren't really doing that much. It might be that they become stronger over time and we're just seeing the super easy versions, but... I was actually expecting that we would get Moving to coordinates. into really serious trouble here. But most often they are just running at us and are dying relatively quickly. Leaf oiler here, just so that we do have a second guide in case anything happens. Let's try. Yeah, and maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Uh, the the game was configured on the hardest difficulty, so I was expecting that we would actually see some really, really tough fights at the beginning. So, let's talk a bit about impressions of the Smash and Grab missions. I think they are generally working fine. wouldn't say that they do have a major problem, but already after the third time now, they become a bit repetitive. The whole ammunition for each individual weapon that is finicky. Why would you do that? I mean, I get it. You want people to kind of manage their resources, but there is good resource management and then there are just chores. And having these individual magazines, not a big fan of that design decision. Just track the shots and deduct uh, the resources afterwards. If you even need to deduct the resources, why not give less resources and then not deduct it? I don't know. Uh, a couple of the decisions that the game makes are unnecessarily old school. And I'm not saying pandering to uh, complete auto uh, automation of everything everywhere, but you get what I mean, right? So, personal, Shattered Realm. Still not the points for the multi-class. Still not uh, enough points. Forty-nine, and here we could take a second class. Or gain the Assault Rifle Proficiency, which I think we're going to do instead for now. Because that means Super Pistol time is over. And we'll get a real weapon. Tyler, sorry to tell you, you'll get your weapon back in a bit. But for now, hmm, gain assault rifle proficiency with plus ten percent damage. We do have assault rifles available. Why can't I hand over an assault rifle? It 
see those are uh, things that I don't understand again we come to the perception of the game being unnecessarily like finicky why is it that I can't why do I need to micromanage in order to to give that weapon over and even more importantly why can I not give that weapon over So we do have one uh, new laser assault rifle magazine, which is great. I love it, but unfortunately we only have one. So we need to get more in the future. Anyways, Grell, I think we wasted those points. It's pretty damn disappointing. And Euler almost gets his class as well. Yeah, we're not going to invest points for now. What I want to do is get that second vehicle up. Eight more days. We could steal an aircraft here. Hmm. I have to wonder, is that a good idea? You know what? Let's try that. Team on the Manticore fully healed and ready. We'll move it to here. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Should we steal an aircraft? We would get a new aircraft. That'll be pretty damn good. Haven Info. Yeah, they don't have an aircraft. Yeah, I think... How how mad could they be about, uh, about uh, stealing an aircraft? Mm. They potentially will like us a little bit less, but we get an aircraft out of it. Okay, cool. We'll... Guys, we'll do that in the next episode. I think uh, today for today we're good. If you want to steal uh, something, try to steal a few likes from this video by clicking that like button, thumbs up, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.